Governments from every country are coming up with a plan of how we can limit the amount of greenhouse gases that we put out into our atmosphere and also how we can use less of Earth's natural resources. One goal that Scotland has is to stop putting more greenhouse gases into our atmosphere than we can take out. This is something called net zero and it's a goal they're trying to achieve by 2045. All of this is in an effort to keep global warming under 2 degrees Celsius at 1.5 degrees. Now, 0.5 degrees might not seem like a lot, but if we can keep it that way, then we limit the percentage of the population who will experience extreme heat every one to five years from 37% to 14%. So how do we limit global warming to 1.5 degrees? Well, we can make a conscious effort to use less energy and we can also switch to more renewable sources to power our homes instead of traditional fossil fuels. We also need to remove the huge amount of carbon dioxide that we emit into our atmosphere every single day, but the technology for this already exists. Just look at your local forest. Trees take in carbon dioxide and turn it into oxygen. Scientists are trying to find technologies that will store and capture carbon dioxide before it hits our atmosphere. So we can all help to reduce climate change by reducing what we consume and what we buy. This will help to reduce emissions from factories and the global shipping process. But this change needs to happen on a widespread scale and across the world. So for example, at the supermarket, I can only buy what I need to buy, but the supermarkets have a responsibility to use less plastic packaging and to stock their shelves from ethical sources. So let's run over the facts one more time. We can all do our bit to help stop climate change, but it's gonna work the best when communities and policymakers work together to make widespread change. We're trying to keep climate change under two degrees at 1.5 degrees, and that 0.5 is gonna make all the difference. We need to stop using more of Earth's natural resources than it can regenerate in one year, and we can do this by consuming less and powering our homes more sustainably.